Good morning, Metro Lina. Good morning, Metro Lina. Good morning, Metro Lina. Good morning, Metrolina. Today is Thursday, May 18th. I'm Madeline Myrick. And I'm Elizabeth Sanford. Don't forget Spring of Palooza is tonight and it starts at 5. To get discounted rate, you need to purchase your ticket in the office by 12. Otherwise, the price will be higher at the door. Also, don't forget to bring a little extra money and get your 2017 Spring of Palooza t-shirt. Tonight will be full of fun. There will be food, sweets, rides, and auctions. Come and check it out. Last week, we gave you an update on the middle school spring sports. This week, we are going to let Matt give you an update on our varsity teams. And here's Matt. And here are your current updates for our varsity teams. The JV baseball won five games, lost four, and tied two. According to Mrs. Summy, the varsity tennis team placed first in regular conference and were tournament champs. Vlad Benar and Braden Segrist were undefeated in Matt conference singles and doubles at first and second seed. For the first time in MCA history, the team made it to the state tournament. Coach Kell told us that the varsity soccer team's overall record was 10 wins, 7 losses, and 3 ties. In conference, they were 7-1-2. They played a tough game but were defeated in the MAC tournament finals. Our softball team came in second in the MAC conference. They have made it to the third round and will play tomorrow in Raleigh. The baseball team got second in the MAC conference and have a bid to the state playoffs. They were defeated in the first round. Our track team had an outstanding number of participants this year. The boys won the MAC championship for the fourth straight year and the fifth time in six years. The girls won the MAC championship as well for the second straight year. Many students made it to the states in track, but the meet is not until tomorrow at Winthrop University. Golf won the conference tournament with Jacob Shamblin and Lucas Helms as low medalists. Jacob Shamblin and Carson Shields made it to states and did well. Our teams did great this season, bringing home many victories. There were individuals who were recognized as all-conference. These students excelled and represented the Warrior Nation well. Great job again to all of our teams. Now here are a few other announcements around the school. Congratulations to Logan Harris for winning a prize on her teapot, her purse teapot. She won $25 cash award at the Carolina Clay Matters Pottery Festival this last Saturday. Congratulations, Logan! Last Friday, middle school participated in their annual field day. This year, it was all about science and fitness. In 8th grade, the black team won. In 7th grade, the blue team won. And in 6th grade, the orange team won. The winning teams got ice cream sundae party for their victory. Congratulations to all the winning teams. Exams start next week for high school. Here's the schedule. 12th grade starts there on the 24th with 1st and 3rd period. On Thursday the 25th, 9th through 12th takes their Bible exam and seniors also take their 4th period exam. 9th through 12th will take their exam on Friday the 26th. At this point, seniors should be done with their exams. We have Monday the 29th off school and then you will finish your exams on Tuesday the 30th with 1st and 3rd period. On the 31st, you will take your 4th and 7th period exams. Make sure you study and end the year strong. On Tuesday the 23rd, seniors will have graduation practice at 11. That evening is the Senior Baccalaureate and it is at 7 p.m. in the Worship Center. The speaker for the evening is Pastor Mike Whitson. Thank you for all of those announcements. We'd also like to congratulate senior Riley Goodson for receiving a full ride academic scholarship to Anderson University. She also got an additional art scholarship for Anderson. Congratulations, Riley. Last week, we asked you to send in your favorite memories from this year. Mine were made under the Friday night lights. I had a great time with friends and also cheering. Now let's see what yours were. Playing guitar. When we went to Washington, D.C. Millie rocking on camera. Uh, getting the food trucks for lunch. The senior retreat. Is Miss Langley starting teaching with two minutes left in class? Being able to hold a shutout against my old school. Becoming friends with Peyton. Playing soccer with some of my best friends. Seeing my sister McKinsey at school. Playing football and hanging out with Connor Moreno. Playing soccer. Coach Lefford stood up and danced for our whole class. Playing tennis. The Disney trip. The Atlanta trip. Hanging out with Hannah Kelso and friends and seeing Mr. Morgan, my teachers, and I just thank God for my teachers and you know. Going to prom. Being on the news. When people get in food fights. Thanks for taking the time to share those moments with us. We hope that you continue to make memories as a Metrolina warrior. Now that's all we have for you today. And here's your joke of the week. What do you call a bear with no teeth? Uh, a gummy bear. <laughs>